Good afternoon, everyone. It is David Schlothauer here with another detailed update on the severe weather for tomorrow for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, portions of Missouri and northwestern Arkansas. The Storm Prediction Center has already issued a moderate risk near Oklahoma City and western Oklahoma for Sunday. This is driven by a 5% chance of tornadoes, a 15% chance of large hail, and of course, there's a 45 significant or damaging winds. So let's time this out with great precision detail on the HRRR model for tomorrow's severe weather outbreak. I am calling it because there is a moderate risk for severe weather. More on that in a little bit. So we're looking at Doppler radar here for 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you're in Amarillo, Texas, definitely want to be aware of this. If you're in Elk City, Woodward, Oklahoma, you definitely need to be aware of this because this is going to be pretty serious. We're talking widespread damaging winds potentially of over 75 miles an hour, possibly even 90 miles an hour over western Texas, part of some very strong downsloping winds coming off of New Mexico. So let's go forward here. The storms are going to start popping off, especially over Amarillo, Texas, Pampa, Texas, if you are in uh, Liberal in Kansas. If you're in Mead, uh, Kansas, you're going to start seeing more semi-discrete, discrete supercells pop off right around 4 p.m. Central Standard Time for your Sunday. Sunday morning looks fine. Sunday afternoon and evening, not so much. So we're going to go forward here and we're going to kind of play this through. So especially by the time we go into 4 p.m., this is where we are going to see our strongest storms. Memphis, Texas, Childress, Texas, if you're in Woodward, Oklahoma, this is where the enhanced risk for severe weather is being issued by the Storm Prediction Center. So if you're on I-40, we could be seeing some large hail, very strong winds, 75, 85 plus miles an hour, and of course, maybe some tornadoes along the line. We're not seeing much in the way of discrete development downstream. It's gonna be more initially discrete along the dry line, and then it should grow upscale rapidly into a very powerful linear QLCS, MCS type deal. So this is about 6 p.m. on Sunday. Let's go into by about um, 7 to 8 o'clock at night for Oklahoma. You can see Elk City getting hit very hard here, right in the smack dab in the moderate risk for severe weather. I would not be surprised, by the way, if they do extend that much further east, say into Tulsa, Oklahoma. If you're in Stillwater, Ponca City, wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if they want to go moderate over your area. They will work this out in coming uh, days as we lead up to this tomorrow. But there is the line of storms, very strong. We're talking widespread damaging winds over I-40 here. So if you're in Weatherford um, by about, say, 8 o'clock at night, if you're in Cherokee, Oklahoma, right around 8 o'clock, it's going to be, we're going to see hail, lots of lightning, damaging winds. We're going live on this, okay? I'm already going live at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon on this. So if you guys are wondering, when is David going live? We're going live at 1, okay? It's going to be like an 8 to 9 hour stream. So we're going to go in till about 9 or 10 o'clock on Sunday, just tracking this line of storms. By the way, this is all in Pacific time. So make sure yeah, your alarms are going to go off about three or four o'clock um, central time or sooner. That line is very strong though, by about eight o'clock at night. And then it gets into Oklahoma City by about nine o'clock. So yes, if you're out and about storm chasing, big time. We're talking significant wind damage, very populated uh, area. Chickasha, if you're in Lindsay, if you're on I-35 here to the south, very strong winds out ahead of this and within the front itself, Wichita Falls, Texas, spreading all the way down to Albaline, Texas. This line of storms here looks pretty, pretty strong, but the strongest will be within the Wichita to the south in Winnefield in Kansas, Ponca City, right around 9 o'clock at night. And then by the time we go into, say, about uh, 10 o'clock into 11 o'clock uh, central time, it will pass over Broken Arrow, uh, Bixby. If you're in Tulsa, if you're in um, Muskogee, if you are in Stingler, it's going to move into your area right around the 11 o'clock hour on your Sunday. And this will be moving into northwestern Arkansas right around midnight on your Monday. 
right around midnight on your Monday, also into western Missouri, like Olith, if you are in Green uh, Green Valley, if you're in Marshall, it's going to get there, but it's going to kind of get a little more diffused, but still, a slight risk for severe weather over Jefferson City, right around 2 o'clock in the morning for your Monday, so you're definitely going to be woken up to seeing, um, hearing thunder, strong winds, and maybe some hail, and then it gets into St. Louis as early as 4 to 5 in the morning there, right on the leading edge of that marginal risk. But not only that, I wanted to show you all something. This system is very dynamic, and we're going to go to the winds for that. So this is for Sunday morning, right around 10 in the morning for Central Time. The winds are going to be a big, big deal, especially over western Texas, as well as New Mexico. We could be seeing gusts over 80 miles an hour in some of the higher elevations, Winds could gust as high as 100 plus miles an hour. That will really bring down trees, power lines. We're talking blowing dust and sand. So let's kind of fast forward this. This is right around 2 in the afternoon for Central Time. We're talking really strong winds over Albuquerque, New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Western Texas. Very strong winds. We're talking wind sustained 20, about 40 to 60 miles an hour, and this gets really nasty. Look at this. By about 5 p.m. in the afternoon, my goodness, we're talking big-time winds. Winds between 30 to 50, maybe uh, 45 to 60 miles an hour. Sustained winds. When we go over our wind gusts here, we can be looking at gusts anywhere between 65 to 80 miles an hour over western Texas. That will cause extensive damage. We're looking at potential widespread damage, blowing dust, blowing sand, and possible some overturned vehicles because the winds are going to be so strong. Not only that, look at the winds throughout Oklahoma and in the wake of that storm. We're talking damaging winds. I would not be surprised for one thing, they go, uh, they extend the moderate risk, and there might be just a little area that I'm primarily concerned about, especially over western Oklahoma. They might push the lever up to a high risk for severe weather. I don't think so. Please don't say I'm hyping this up because the way the wind dynamics are here, this really could warrant a much higher in threat than a moderate risk in isolated locations. So yeah, big time, big time impacts here over Oklahoma and Western Texas. And then that gets into Missouri by the time we go into the early morning hours of Monday. Now, the reason why the winds are gonna be so strong and this system is gonna be so dynamic is you can blame it on the 18,000 foot level, mid-level jet that is going to be in place, ejecting out of New Mexico tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon. Once this gets into Texas, we're going to see a lot of cyclogenesis going on over Colorado, eastern Colorado, and western Kansas. And to the south, this is where we have the best dynamic strong winds, the dry line, severest weather. Because look at the winds here at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, 115 plus knots over western Texas. This gets over Oklahoma by 06Z on Monday. So that would be right around, say, about 1 to 2 o'clock in the morning for Oklahoma. But look at that. Really, really strong wind dynamics. On top of that, we're looking at moisture advection uh, with dew points anywhere between 60 and 65 degrees. That will become suitable for our severe weather setup over Oklahoma and northern Texas. The moisture is Pretty much kind of a mixed signal here. We're not seeing super rich moisture like low 70 dew points, but we are seeing enough moisture that there will be severe weather over Oklahoma and portions of western and kind of northeastern panhandle of Texas, especially as this system really swings on through. Therefore, the Storm Prediction Center has went moderate for severe weather, especially, again, for tomorrow for western um, Oklahoma, for northeastern panhandle of Texas. You can clearly see it there. It is a level four out of five on the severity weather index scale. You don't see these moderates very often and they're used for a big reason. Usually seen in tornado outbreaks or strong derecho type wind outbreaks um, over this region. And so we do got a moderate risk tomorrow. And this is not driven just by wind, but we're also, this is driven by tornadoes. Well, not really by tornadoes. We're only at a 5% chance of tornadoes over central and western Oklahoma, but yes, 
we are going to see tornadoes within the moderate risk for severe weather, and we're going to see a 15% risk for large hail. Quarter size hail cannot be ruled out with isolated events that could exceed two inches in diameter, especially when the uh, the initial phase of intense storms do develop. They'll be that will be the best chances to seeing some very large hail events, especially over northeastern Panhandle of Texas and southwestern far Oklahoma. On top of that, we are looking at a 45 significant for damaging winds. 30 significant over the rest of Oklahoma. I'm very sure they are going to extend the moderate risk in later outlooks before the initial storms do fire up. So keep that in mind. If you're downstream, don't think you're going to stay in an enhanced risk for very long. I think they're going to go moderate the further east you go, especially right over Tulsa, Oklahoma, Broken Arrow, and points west. I think that's going to be covered there in the 45 significant for damaging winds. But anyways, that is going to sum it up for today's video. Please come back and watch my live stream tomorrow. We're going to go live right around 1 o'clock in the afternoon in Pacific Standard Time. That will be 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I might go live a little earlier. That will be based on the current expectations of the storms and where we're at. So make sure you have notifications turned on to the max. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And lastly, make sure you like the video to get more updates because I know you guys like my content right if you guys do please show that that way I know that oh you like this video you like these updates so make sure you hit the like button share and subscribe it really means a lot because yes this is in a very populated area and my job is here to save people's lives and I can only do that if you share the stream share the videos that I make and everything like that all right, but I'll be back with you more tomorrow with a live update on this severe weather outbreak for Oklahoma and Texas for Sunday afternoon and evening.